but I was one of those producers that's like, oh, I don't want to be no online producer because that's not how I got, you know, got my start or at least got some type of credibility in the music industry. Uh, I was fortunate enough to get, you know, a couple of placements as like my first start off, but um, I was I was kind of against it. I'm like online beats, internet. No, I don't want none of that. No, um, but eventually I got out of my own way. And I'm just like, you know, in this industry, everything is changing and I can't be one of those people that's just stuck in his way. So I'm like, you know what? I'm going to try some online stuff. And um, uh, that's when I remembered. I'm like, B-Stars, that's where I used to get my beats from. So let me that's where, <laughs> let me go ahead and, and get on there and, uh, and and try. So I'm still new. Don't get me wrong. I'm learning every day. Um, and no, I'm sure some things you could teach me. Uh, but, uh, but yeah, that's kind of how I got my start. I was, I wanted to stop being stubborn. So you said, you had just said that you were kind of like, I guess the word would be apprehensive about getting online. Can you, can you speak to why that may have been and what was the catalyst for you actually jumping on when all was said and done? Yeah. Just the stigma, just the whole, the stereotype, just hearing, like, I don't know, honestly, I wasn't as educated. Um, I would just listen to what other people would say and just like the whole, you know, the back, like the stuff that comes with online producing, like, uh, if you this big producer online, whether if it's YouTube and stuff like that, then you, you may not hear much of a, like a big placement kind of, uh, uh, thing that comes with it. Like you, it's either for me, I thought it was either one or the other, you either going to be an online producer and that's it. That's where your career stops. Are you going to be somebody that's getting placements and actually, you know, you're not in that saturated world. Um, so that's kind of how I, I was, I was, again, I was stubborn and I didn't want to educate myself and actually dig into um, uh, how beneficial it could be to, to, to actually market yourself and put yourself out there. But what got me into it was just <clears throat> uh, honestly placements slowing up, you know, like you, we all know this game every oh, you can have the hottest beats in the world that don't mean meek mill is gonna rap to your stuff that don't mean jay-z is gonna hear your stuff and just realizing how slow that was and i'm just like i gotta do something i can't sit around waiting on somebody to put me on or somebody to rap to my beats or hoping that rick ross put the song out you know that i'll probably produce for him and i'm just like i gotta get myself out there so that's kind of what really said you know i'm gonna I'm get on this, this online stuff and, and learn I mean, you got yourself out there. You have a pretty solid list of credits over here that we'll share with people later. Um, but it's it's nice to hear that, you know, I understand the apprehensiveness and there's a lot of stigma. I mean, we talk about this every week, guys. Like, people are like, don't be a type B producer or whatever. But it's just like, it's a really great searching tool. And don't let nobody play you either because there's some really big producers on BeatStars just under alias names. So don't let nobody play you that way.